All right, how to install a GFCI outlet where you have six wires, which means you have three pairs of wires, you have three black wires, and you have three white wires. How to properly connect this GFCI when you have this scenario? So number one, before you get to this point, of course, turn off your breaker, make sure you don't have a power in any of these wires and make sure you have a power tester even after turning off the power to test for presence of uh, basically power. Make sure you have wire nuts on on at least hot terminals because we're going to turn on the circuit to define which pair of these three uh, pairs is going to be our line and which two are going to be our load. Basically, this GFCI has only one way of wiring it. So if you take a look at the back, it will say line, which means power will come here to feed this GFCI outlet. And this taped up part is the load. That's where you're gonna connect your load. So let's say you are doing this in your kitchen. You might have a line coming in uh, somewhere from the top and you have uh, two loads. So basically this GFCI is protecting two other outlets in the line or maybe four, maybe five, maybe six. So basically you have two pairs of load uh, which has to be connected to the bottom of this side. So basically what you're gonna do, def identify so which pair is where it's coming from because you cannot um, basically mess up neutral side on this one. So basically, um, take a look at the box and just like that, identify which pair, which is uh, neutral and hot, is where is it coming from and just bend it into three sides just like I did here so it's easier for you to um, work on this one. So once you do that, you're going to turn back on power and with your basically power tester, you're going to basically test uh, your hot um, black wire basically to see which one of these pairs have a uh, power basically. Once after turning on the power, if you see, let's say uh, in my case, I'm going to say that I will have um, this top uh, as my line. Well, I will just turn off the power and I will connect this pair to the line side of this GFCI outlet. So when you connect this GFCI outlet, please do not use drills to tighten these screws, okay? So loosen up, uh, make sure you strip just enough section of this wire if you're doing for the first time uh, so you can connect these wires. So you have uh, brass screws, which is gonna be our hot terminal. We have uh, silver screws, which is gonna be our neutral wires, which is white wire, okay? And then down here, we have a, our ground wire. So first, you should start uh, with the ground, basically insert it under this washer, basically, or you can make a loop. and just go on top of that washer. So, which I prefer to do because it may slide out. So I'll do this. Okay. Once you're done with this, you're gonna switch to, and I suggest not removing this sticker so you don't get confused which side is line, which side is load. So we're gonna connect white wire. So let's say we, we know that right here right now this is our line because we tested it with power tester when we turned on power we didn't have or have power on these two and we did have a power over here so this is going to be our line which will we'll connect um, so I'm gonna connect neutral Make sure don't you don't use drill. Um, sometimes I know people do go uh, tighten with impact. I mean, you can do that, but 
I'm sure many people will be just better off just using flat head screwdriver because with a flat head screwdriver you can make it pretty tight and also you're gonna do uh, some pull test okay so after neutral we're gonna connect our hot terminal and also you don't want this wire uh, to be stripped too long you want it to be stripped just enough so it doesn't go over it okay it doesn't go stick out here it just has to go underneath of this basically washer right here below this um, screw so we're gonna tighten this screw again when we're done we're gonna do pull test to make sure that it's not loose and if you make these connections loose it will be tripping it's not gonna stay on uh, if you try to reset it if you make any of these connections loose so make sure that it's tight enough you don't want to also overdo it but just make sure that it's tight enough and you do a pull test after you're done with each terminal so now we know that these two pairs right here is our load and i'm gonna basically connect it to the load terminals here so the silver screw here is going to be both of my ground uh, both of my neutral wires will be going into this terminal if it's too long if you strip too long of a section you can definitely cut it shorten it so make sure it's tight enough okay don't make a loose connection so just like that we got both of these neutral wires connected. Now we're gonna switch to uh, black wires here. And I'm pretty sure uh, a lot of you will be working with a 12 gauge wiring. And yes, you, you will be um, basically rotating this GFCI back and forth depending how short or long wires you have. So that's okay, that's fine. Uh, it has, it's not gonna be easy for many of you to do that. Uh, and especially I'm working here uh, with 14 gauge wire. It might seem it's easy, but it's not easy, okay? So you just have to um, help with your another hand, just hold the wire right there when you are tightening. It doesn't loosen up, it doesn't drop, okay? When you are tightening the screw. So, and after tightening the screw, another pull test, okay? And when you are done with this, a lot of people just uh, insert it just as it is. They just try to push it, push it in there, which you don't want to do. Uh, you need to basically organize the wires inside of the box. So basically you want to create little S curve or you just want to make them, you just want to consolidate the wires um, just like that, bend it to the top bend it to the bottom and then push it into the box so it goes in okay some of you will have a metal box in that instance i suggest you to tape around this box with the electrical tape exclusively with electrical tape okay say in the kitchen or if there is a wood and this electrical box is deeper and you are not able to put the outlet all the way in the box basically without any space between the wall um, you have to use sleeves um, after taping it around it's pretty cheap actually so this is a code actually so what you do is be even before you wire this you insert it but if you forgot to you can still manage to get it in there somehow um, just by bending the outlet a little bit, the wiring, and you can still manage to get it in there, just like this. Okay, and then what happens is you just, you can just remove these screws because you will need longer screws. It does already come with a longer screw. And then you can tighten it into the box so let's say you install this basically this is the final look 
And after that, what you're gonna do is turn the power on and then you press this reset button. After you reset, you can use your plug tester to basically plug it in. And then basically it has a button right here to trip the circuit, trip it, reset it, test, make sure that it, uh, the reset button, test button works. And basically that's how you install GFCI where you have six wires and three pairs basically. So you have three black, three white, and that's how you install it.